We have learned much more this week about the Al-Qaeda plot to bomb an airplane heading to the United States. U.S. officials now say that the man who was thought to be the bomber was actually a double agent working for the CIA. But is the success of this thwarted attack pointing out security measures that simply are not protecting us? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, this story could be right out of Hollywood. With the help of American allies in Saudi Arabia and Yemen, a secret agent working with the CIA inserts himself into the inner circle of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and becomes so trusted that he's allowed to volunteer to carry out an underwear bomb attack on a U.S.-bound plane. According to U.S. officials, that's exactly what happened. The suicide bomber traveled to Yemen and volunteered for a suicide mission. He was taken up on it and outfitted with an underwear bomb. He had already been told to choose a date and to buy a ticket, but instead he turned over that bomb to the U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano says that there is a high likelihood that the bomb would have been detected had the bomber boarded a flight in the United States. A former TSA administrator agrees. An officer in the, in the booth sees thousands and thousands of normal people every day, and if, and if you're wearing a, an underwear bomb, that is going to stand out and so I suspect or I feel very strongly they would be able to identify that and then they could identify it either with a pat down or trace detection. But is that true? Now consider some of the details that have been released about this thwarted attack. Unlike the 2009 Christmas Day underwear bomber, this bomb was not placed into boxers, rather into briefs and that's important because the bomb was fitted and hidden much more carefully. Most sophisticated airport scanner machines cannot detect explosives at all. They do check though for differences in density between fabrics and in this case authorities say it would have been much more difficult to tell there was a bomb. One top law enforcement official, in fact, tells the New York Post, quote, they would not have gotten them. So here's what you need to know. If this double agent story is true, and I've seen no evidence that it's not, this get by intelligence officials is a big one. But it also presents some problems for the massive amounts of airport security that Americans are already required to endure. Taking off your shoes, taking off your belt, taking off your jacket, being patted down and then patted back up again, standing in a scanner that can see through your clothing. For those who insist that all of these measures are unnecessary and a violation of our civil rights and, quite frankly, don't make us any safer, at least under this scenario, they would be right. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX. Well, ben